I wonder if there's a slang for ecri, like... You an EQ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an EQ at Buckhouse. Yeah. EQ, yeah. Meet you at Not Cot. Not Cot. Stat. <laughs> well, they wouldn't say that. Welcome to the Royal British Slang with... Emma Corrin. And Josh O'Connor. <laughs> Equery. Oh, this is good. Equery. Well, we know a little we know something about this. Like a, the right-hand man to the, que to the queen. Yeah, like an assist, like a PA. An assistant, like a PA. Like a PA. But equerries are ones that will like get you out, the, get the person out the car and be like, oh, come this way and oh, she'll be with and, you in And also minutes. plan their schedules. I think it's like the highest, I think. Is, is Richard a dean an equerry? Yeah, Richard Golding. Richard Golding? Plays, What's uh, his? A dean. Edward a dean. Sorry. Edward a dean in this series of The Crown. But I think it's the highest level. Not cot. Something cottage. Nottingham, Nottingham Cottage. Cottage. HRH. H R H or H R H. Whatever. Uh, stands for Her or His Royal Highness. Can it be his as well? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't know. that would make I sense. I think yes, I think it can because you can get H R H Prince Charles, I think. I don't know. There I go. really need to know this. Elevens is snacks, right? Well, interestingly, I we're sat by a cup of tea. Or a bowl of tea. My understanding with the Levensies is that there's like there are sort of two tea times. One at like eleven in the morning. Yeah, like a mid morning snack. And then a one at tea time which is like four o'clock. Yeah. But can four o'clock be elevenses or is that tea? That's tea. Elevenses is, is, is very much mid morning. But not to be confused with brunch, which may come up later. Maybe brunch is like the new elevenses. Maybe. Thank you, Emma Corrin. That's <laughs> right, heard it here first, guys. <laughs> Buckhouse. Right. <laughs> okay. uh, do you know what that one is? It's got to be a house. It's got to be a house. We've got the second half is is to is... do with the home. Mm. Oh, hang on. Buckingham Palace. <gasps> Buckhouse. Buckhouse. Okay. It's that's them saying <laughs> that's like me stable. going. Stable. Yeah. Stable. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, they probably have stables in there, but. Blue blood. Oh, that means like royal blood, like you're well posh. Do you have to be in the royal family to have blue blood, or can it be anyone who is like, like would? Oh uh, yeah. Do you, Diana in, have blue? Because in my research, in, I found out that she's actually aristocracy. more aristocratic than the royal family. Interestingly, blue is the most royal colour. I thought I it was always purple. thought it was. Uh, really? What do you? <laughs> it might be actually. I always thought it was red, and someone said to me the other day that blue was I the most. No, I thought it was purple. No. Well, it might be. For like Romans. <laughs> blue is was very a very expensive colour because the the pigment came from a very rare rock. Anyway. But that also might be why because then if you're royal, you can afford the pigment. The pigment. Therefore, blue being in your blood. Yeah. OBE uh, of the British Empire. Empire. Of the British Empire, and that's an award you get, right? Yeah. Uh, you get to know if you've the, done good things. If you've done good things that have helped uh, the country, helped the country or society, or like, we don't. We don't. <laughs> we, we don't have an OBE, don't. but there might be someone that we know, maybe out there. Investiture, go for it. The investiture is. <laughs> okay. Is an episode of the Crown. No. You are invested into a role. In the royal family. It's like a swearing in ceremony. Yeah, exactly. In season three, Prince Charles was invested as the Prince of Wales, in the heir Wales. apparent. The heir apparent is the the assumed heir. The, guy the person who's, who's going to take over from either. He's going to be, be the next one. Apparently, it's him. <laughs> I'm entirely <laughs> sure that's where it's from, Em. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently. Who's the heir? Yeah, heir apparent. Heir apparent. <laughs> next up, the privy purse. Oh, like the Queen's money. It's their their pocket money, right? I wonder if there is a privy, a real privy purse. Like an actual, I'm imagining like one of the little old ones you get with the clasp. The little cl cl you... clip, yeah. Okay. Operation London Bridge. Bridges. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 <I'm>, <laughs> when the ro yeah. one of the royal families dies. They're all bridges. Oh my goodness, you're brilliant. Yeah. Each of the royal family has is assigned a bridge and when they die, there's like operation. So if say like the Queen is London Bridge, then if the That's Queen exactly dies, right. then everyone's like, oh, Operation London Bridge. They all have a different bridge, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they all have a different bridge. Can you remember what bridge you are? No. I don't think I got a bridge. I'm sure Diana. I'll be the bridge. Dartford Crossing. <laughs> That's a rubbish bridge. No, it's not. It's a bridge. Okay. Toff, well. That's I just think easy. of Toff from a posh person. Posh right? person. 
I guess it's like the more it's more of a kind of pompous English English like, sort of like very very posh very raw. Yeah, 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 That's yeah, another yeah, term, yeah. raw. Weirdly, I wouldn't describe the royals as toffs because they're sort of Rars aren't toffs, but maybe people wrong. who they hang out with would be toffs. Yeah. So anyway, that's what a toff is. It's a very posh person. It's a very posh person. Sloan Ranger. So Diana was part of like the like Sloan Rangers who were just like posh, young posh people in Kensington. In Kensington. In it's a place called Sloan Square. In the 80s, 70s, and 80s. Which is uh, yeah, and you can be a Sloan. You can be a Sloan. And they all kind of dressed the same and went to this and wore the same. I think they were quite the trendy haircuts. back in the very day. Very trendy to be a Sloan Ranger. Be. I'd say Diana was a Sloan. Ranger and Charles wasn't. Yeah. Charles probably erring on the side of top. To okay, here we go. Trooping the colour, Emma Corrin. That's when they go on the horses. That's right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you heard it here first. Uh, in fact, the first episode one, I think, of season four. There's like a big parade. Yeah. The Queen's there. Basically, all the horse guards assemble. On horse guards parade. On horse guards parade, and they do a sort of. No, I'm not going to use the word dance, but it is a sort of dance. And there's uh, and they hold their guns, and there's a big cannon fire. And the queen comes out in a carriage, right? Queen comes out in a carriage. If I'm honest, having experienced it, I can't really imagine it being particularly useful in a battle. Yeah. But um, but I can see how it might be ceremonial. Anyway, that's the end of our um, British royal slang learning experience journey. Yeah. You will. I feel like I've learned a lot. I learned everything, pretty much everything pretty that was on there was new, new to me. Yeah. So we'll probably do this before we do the series so that we know what we're doing, yeah. talking about. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Goodbye. I feel like we've just done the news. You know how the news comes up and then they talk? <laughs>